Hey everyone, see what boats I here with another episode of Blazing Angels. Here it is. Here's what I was kind of hinting at earlier on. D-Day. Everyone learns what about D-Day. What is there left to say about D-Day that hasn't been said? Uh, if you weren't there, you'll never understand it. And if you were there, you know that words just don't do the job of describing it. Five beaches. A hell of a lot of brave men throwing themselves against the toughest defenses the Third Reich had to offer. And up above it all, us, doing everything we could to help the boys on the beaches out. They had us doing everything that day. The first order of business was to drop markers on the enemy bunkers, lighting up the targets for the big guns on the cruisers offshore. Yep. Then it was time to clear the way for the infantry, not to mention the armor that came with them. Of course, the Germans had a little something to say about that. <sighs> Gosh. Like, to be honest, I, to be, I, I don't think I've ever listened to someone's, like, interpretations of D-Day. Like, I'm pretty sure there's docu documentaries and stuff like that of, like, people talking about, like, how D-Day went down and stuff like that. I just know what occurred, why it was important, and, like, all the casualties and stuff like that. Um... And of course, Private Ryan kind of deal, but I I cannot remember ever watching like someone having an interview with someone that went through D Day. Kind of want to kind of want to Hell do that. For an invasion, don't you think? I mean, do it myself would be awesome, but like actually watch an interview of that. Because, like, like you said, it's hard to describe it if you weren't there, and it's hard to describe it if you were there. Lighters, we've got to get you home before you turn completely British. I'm gonna take a shot at those bogies. Peeling off. Today we kick open the door, and in six months we all go home. This is Victor, Fox Run Eight. First round of smoke is on the ground. We're getting heavy flag from Fox Green. Target is too well defended. Repeat, target is too well defended. The target mark. Coming around for the next one. He's on your tail. Target destroyed, Captain. Just show us where to point the guns. Try my best. Direct hit. Moving into position and Crud, up come on. Nope, oh, thank you. Waiting on your signal. Now the cruisers can let her rip. Mm-hmm. Let off, Captain. Got some easy ones floating next door. LCT 305 is hit the beach. Right on Getting top. crowded here. Oof. Oof. Gosh, and I w really Everybody wonder, off. like, I, I know I'm playing as the pilot, but I really do wonder, like, what the pilots had to go through. Especially seeing, like, guys, everyone going on the beaches the beach. and just getting, like, taken down. One of the Higgins folks just took a hit. Come on, come on, give me one. Oh, gosh, I should not fly that low in real life forever. Of course not. Let's make a mess out of those messages. That's a direct hit, Captain. Fine, let me take some of these planes out. We know that's you not know, what this like plane is there. fully designed for. He's on me pretty good. Damn. Should have shot at him instead of shooting rockets. Hang on, Joe. I'm coming. Yeah, don't do it, Joe. Uh, I ain't making any promises, Tom. I'm shot up pretty bad here. Go back, Joe. Take her down and get yourself looked at. Not a chance, Captain. I'll be fine. Now let's do what we came for. <sighs> I'll keep an eye on him, Captain. 
I won't let him down. All right, what's next? Let's do this. Joe's injured in the air, flying. I was. All right, here we go. Yep, this is the point that a lot of people remember of Private Ryan's just them trying to get past this point. Which. Ah. Come on, give me another one. Give me another. You ran right in front of me. Get out of your Fortnite mansion. Alright, hold on. Gosh. Oof. They're ripping us off! You have to take out those machine gun nets! I'm trying. We're taking mortar fire! Right down his throat! Almost there! A bullseye! Even count ground All right. dragons anymore. Last one. Pull up. Kind of a little bit of nosing isn't good. Thanks for the assist. That's out of commission. All right, here we go. Wait a minute, I think I see some more Stukas. All right. Another boring ground target destroyed. The kid. Ugh. It's done, it's done. Come on. Sorry. Oh my gosh, I actually hit him. All right. There's a machine gun nest. We're pinned down. Hold on. Right down that the the up. Uh. Move up come on, come on, come on. Come on. Hold on. Like, I know this was a few minutes for me, but gosh, just had it. Gosh, I forget how long it took them to get through this. Goodness gracious. Wow. That one blew up good. Thank you. I Thank used my rockets on. Shouldn't be doing the rockets on the planes, but hey. 
Oh boy. A big thank you to whoever launched that one. Fighter groups nine, twenty-four and alpha. We've got incoming hostile craft. Looks like fighters and bombers. Move to engage. Keep them off our troops. Those panzers are pouring out the easy red. We can't hold them off without help. <sighs> this isn't synced up. This isn't synced up. I got one on me. Joe, evasive maneuvers. There's a bogey coming up on your six. He's already dead. Joe. Oh. Yeah. We lost Joe. And it didn't it wasn't synced up, so it wasn't He's as gone. good. Well, it's not good, it just doesn't hit fully. No. Delay that, Tom. Frank and I need you in one piece if we're going to make it through this. Permanently. The hell with that. Right now, I just want to tear them all to pieces. You all right there, Tom? Nothing left but a hole in the ground. Negative, Captain. This isn't the time. Jeez. That's a direct it's not hit. your fault. We disobeyed a direct order. He did, but still. You think that's gonna matter to my sister? For God's sake, he was just a kid. Right no, he wasn't. Not anymore. <sighs> Jeez. Captain, yeah. think Tom's gonna be okay? He'll pull through. Only if we watch out for him the way he watches Target out for destroyed. us. Yep. Yeah. Cause he could do some Damn stupid straight. stuff. Please Try don't skip this no stuff. More. I know it's off sync right now, but still, please don't skip any of this. Don't let him get in behind you. After Joe died, things changed. We changed. Tom felt like he'd failed his brother-in-law. Started trying to avenge him. Frank started to realize that life just might be worth living. And began looking out more for the rest of us. And me? Well, I just hung on to the rest of the squadron tighter than ever. There was never any question of anyone replacing Joe. Not that anyone could. It was just the three of us from then on out. Tighter than brothers. And determined that all of us would be making it home. I don't know why that always gets me. Ah. Well, with that, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.